Let's do this again. Let's see if this time around. about that guys for whatever reason it wasn't my desktop it was not being recorded by OBS located. But anyways let's let's make believe that we are starting the stream. Oh thanks a lot Aaron Thanks a lot. I mean, I, I, I try. Uh, that's like the best thing that I can do right now in terms of resources and stuff. You know, green screen has really saved me a lot of trouble. Just cut the background out. Because to be honest, it would be nice to have like a camera with a uh, background showing, but you know, it's a small apartment and better to just cut it all off. Make it look at least a little bit nicer. But thanks, thanks, thanks for the for the compliment. Now I had to restart this again. I might have to edit that out on the YouTube upload because for some reason at the desktop uh, the OBS stopped recording the desktop for whatever reason. I don't know what happened there. But anyways, what I was saying is that I jumped the gun in the first half of the stream and I played Harmony. Dissonance, which was going to be a game featured on next week's stream. So, what I'm going to do is, I will have it next week, but it's going to play a very small part of next week's stream. And I'm going to dedicate it since the other part, or the other half of that stream, is going to be uh, Dawn of Sorrow, which is the sequel to the Game Boy Advance Aria of Sorrow. I'm going to play Order of the Clash as well. Yes, it has a female protagonist. Really, really awesome game. A lot of magic involved with that and special powers and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to alter any of the art, the promos, or anything like that. We need to include a little bit of the uh, order of the pledge and bonus. It's going to be like a bonus. Just to round up things, because then the week after that, we're coming down to like the nitty gritty. You know, we're going to the top contenders are going to be uh, the week after next week. And then how we, of course, we can do this. Enough said. Let's go back into the area of sorrow. Loading. Loading complete. And you're absolutely right. I mean, camera is something that not only it eats up a little bit of your resources and you know, we have two video sources going at the same time fine for your resources uh, sometimes you just don't feel like you know, showing your face out there like today would have been a really good case for that because i'm not feeling very well I, I, yesterday i was doing well but let's say that Today I woke up kind of like in a relapse, and I'm not 100% to be honest, but I'm going to push through because there's something that I, that I promised, and I'm going to go through it and have fun while doing it as well. But yeah, it, you're right, sometimes it makes sense just to go with sound only. I guess it depends on how everybody feels when they, they do this. Since I don't get a chance to communicate with you guys and talk to you guys as much as I would like to, I kind of throw in the camera when you guys are around. It makes me feel like I'm much more closer and much more personal. So that's that. Alright, let me go into this. Let me try and go 
through the dialogue as quick as possible because I already played this in the first part. But I decided to make the jump over here on Hyper Pie, even though don't have the pretty you know bezels that the other one has, or the scan line effects and, and CRT effect on the screen. For some reason, I need to tweak the settings a little bit more on the emulator for the Game Boy Advance on that one because it wasn't, I didn't feel it was running 100%, the sound was a little distorted. And as you can tell here, you know, visuals and audios, with this one on the HyperPie, it's like right there. So. And one of the appealing things that the Castlevania series has, of course, is the music. Much more so than many people give it credit. So I want to to stream this with full on good audio. Alright, thanks. Uh, I don't know what to call you, dude. You have so many different names, GSM and, and Prototype and Gabok, but you know, whatever name you choose to have, you're more than welcome. Thanks for coming back, man. I was explaining here that, you know, that um, next week I'm gonna have to, since I already played dissonance a little bit that was one of the games that i was going to do next week so i'll just add a bonus ds castlevania which is uh, order of ecclesia and hopefully that will run good if not then you know we'll have fun with that so let's just go quickly to this get this going see this one sounds in terms of music, sound effects and stuff. But I also understand because many of the emulators on coin-ups are... I feel that they are tweaked for lower spec machines. And sometimes you don't get to utilize some of the emulator features because of course you're trying to go for the lower denominator. You're trying to go for low specs and just be able to run. And that I understand, I respect it a lot. But given that in my case I don't have to worry too much about power or resources or stuff like that, I'd rather run it in an environment that has everything uh, graphics full, audio full, as best as possible. So yeah, let's get... Ooh, I, got, I didn't get that power the first time. Yeah, I can't get this yet. Let me put the... Another thing that I like about uh, playing it on the Hydro Pie is the fact that it gives you uh, the colors are a bit richer. The blacks are more blacks, and uh, it just feels better. It feels more like I'm playing a really big screen on the Game Boy Advance. be able to get, get me some good powers. I'm 
wind skeleton would throw spears. That one is is better, but I'm gonna try the supersonic wave because I can't remember what that was. Spears. Like that little wave thing, that's that's not gonna do much. That's what I'm talking about. Throw a big ass spear and knock him the fuck out. Yeah, man, there, I mean, think about it, dude. Uh, we're in a month where, you know, we celebrate, like, the fall season and Halloween and all this creepy stuff. I mean, when it comes to gaming, there's only, like, two or three things that come to mind around this season. You either think about, you know, Silent Hill, uh, Resident Evil, those type of games, or Castlevania. I mean, Castlevania fits it so perfectly. And if it's been a while since you played a Castlevania, just going through all of the classics is it's more than enough, man. There's so many to choose from. The thing is that this year, particularly this year, is a year that is different for me because I was able to get my hands on a Castlevania that I previously did not have and did not have a chance to play. Um... And yeah, that basically plays into the whole last stream on Halloween. So stay tuned for that. And I got something here, Castle Map. I 
I think that the most surprising thing about Castlevania, when you come to think about it, is that everybody has their own favorite Castlevania. And usually, when people talk, talk about their favorite Castlevania, they focus on that one alone, and they kind of shit on some of the other Castlevanias that were really good. Like, say, for example, the Game Boy Advance uh, Castlevanias. These are Symphony of the Night level of you know, Castlevanias, so why not cover them? It's not an exact copy of Symphony of the Night, but it, it never was intended to. It was intended to follow up on Symphony of the Night, and Symphony of the Night, I'm sorry, is not the be all and all Castlevania. It's a amazing Castlevania, one that's groundbreaking, one that led into the whole Metroidvania Castlevanias, but it's not the best. But that, of course, that's subjective to everybody's face. Okay, I don't have any other map. But I do have a map, and the map is going to tell me where I can go. And a save. I love these. And that is, uh, that is the main problem. I mean, Think about it. A lot of people accuse uh, accuse. Uh, I didn't want to bring it up, but it's it is it does stand true, and it is a valid point. A lot of people criticize Nintendo fans for being fanboys and being crazy, and these maniacal people who only view things with nostalgia goggles on. Which okay, you know, if you want to play it that way, fine. However, if you see many fans of other platforms do the same thing, that's the normal thing to do. You always visualize, skew your view towards what you like the best. And they've done that constantly with Symphony of the Night. For the longest time, Castlevania 4 was like the favorite. But then Symphony of the Night came, brought something new, innovative, it brought the RPG element, so now all of a sudden, oh yeah, Catalina 4 was good, but it's kind of shitty when you compare it to this one. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's not the case. And even if, let's say we're in a bubble, and Castlevania 4 or Super Castlevania 4 did not exist, there's still another one that's better than Symphony of the Night, and that was really not allowed to shine the way that it should have because it didn't reach the masses the way Symphony of the Night had the chance to. So yeah, again, I'm not gonna keep talking about that because, no. <laughs> that, that, that's enough. Those freaking eyeballs. But don't worry, don't worry, buddy. If that's the way you feel, if that's the way you feel, I think you're gonna be very happy on Halloween when you turn on the street and you see what's going on. But I was about to say something, yeah. Um, one of the enemies that I hate the most, I, I think there are two enemies that I hate the most from Castlevania, and the third one would be annoying, which is that damn bat, but the ones that I hate the most is the freaking Medusa head and those eyeballs that I just passed by, those flying eyeballs, oh my god. Yes, I can use that, that ability, but that is a soul set, okay, so, flying armor, oh yeah, baby, I need one, like I mentioned before, one is passive, one is active, and the other one is kind of like a special uh, attack, 
<coughs> type of deal. So right now I have on the passive I believe I have this that increases my my jump. Which is always fantastic. But I can't dive because I need the power to dive so I can go underneath the water. So this is one area that I will not be able to explore just yet. Fucking piranhas, dude! Piranhas! Piranhas are kidding me, dude! Get out of there! Not good. So I have to look for another route to go through. Freaking, eye freaking eyeballs, I hate them. And we got a hidden room here. Ooh. Mind up. Thank you. You just called me stupid. Thank you very much. I needed a potion so I could become more intelligent. Still, so I can kill you. There you go. I need to go upward so we can reveal the next part. Do I have the flying armor though? Speed slows down and jump distance. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Blue crow. As if the freaking black crow was not enough, now the blue crow. Ah, oh, still hit me. Those things are strong, but they give. They have a good power. If I could kill one of those. Come on, regenerate. Need to kill one of those wheels. I can't remember the power right now that they give you, but they give you something good. Come on. I had something that would stop. Activate. There you go. That's how you activate the R. I was pressing the wrong button. I have the armor. Woohoo! There is 
something here. Potion. There you go. That's always good. Damn, 200. I really need another weapon. something there that I can't reach yet. But I never got the chance to play it. Damn, I'm taking three hits here. What the hell? I gotta go all the way back. There's nothing here. fight that soldier because I remember he has another special that's good but it's kind of hard sometimes you need to like like um, 
have them spawn and keep fighting them over and over until you get it. Because it's kind of like random. Come on, give me that, give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me that power. Come on, zombie. Oh well. Leave it for later. Come on, come on. Ghost, oh my god. Those are another type of enemy that they are a pain in the ass, especially if you're trying to navigate platforms. They always find a way to knock you off. There you go. Now I got me some grenades, bitch. Instead of spears, now I get to throw grenades. They're not, you know, be all and all, but it's just kind of funny to have the ability to throw grenades. That shit is fucking hilarious. And grenades are shit. the sticky zombies. That did not help at all. Hopefully there's a save here. There's not. Screw. Ah! required to go from here to the upper part, so gotta keep going. All the little devils, creaky little devils, I hate these bastards. Tough to coordinate. Oh, you son of a... They do pretty good damage, though. Rock armor tosses boulders at enemies. Let's try this one. 
Let's see if that's useful or not. I should use a potion right about now. Got rotten meat, but wanna eat that. Find up. Oh yeah. Give me at least a fighting chance to get to a save at least. Ooh, but I can't get it. Ah, I hate you, you bastard. That's like... Thanks, Aaron. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate it, dude. It's okay. Don't waste your, your data on, on little old me. Talk to you later. Oh, man. Alright, so let's see where we're at on time. It's 141. some rocks at him. Way better than I thought. Oh boy. This does not look good.
could walk, I can walk on top of the, the bells. I don't know why I'm trying to make the only a single jump. There we go. Oh, fuck! Come on. Oh, Bumping my head there, and I'm not able to make the jump. I know I can. Oh, damn you! Fuck it. I'm going the other way. Nope. Not through there. Hey, Paul. What's up, man? Thanks for dropping by. Damn, you're still shopping. Okay. Well, Paul, I gotta say, let me see. Uh, to put you up to speed, uh, the first part of the stream, I did Bloodlines. That lasted like about 40 something minutes. Then I went into the Game Boy Advance games with Circle of the Moon. That's the two that I promised. But then, since the guys dropped by, I decided to show or mess around with the other Game Boy titles. And mistakenly, I played the one I was going to play next week. Holy shit. Total Rock. There you go. And I played Dissonance was going to be next week. So I decided, since I played a little bit of Dissonance today, and that was one of the games for next week, that I'm still going to have it next week, but it's going to be very small, uh, uh, very little uh, time dedicated to it, because I'm going to be playing then. The other one which I had scheduled, which was... Dawn of Sorrow, which is the sequel to this game that I'm playing right here, Aria of Sorrow. And I just got thrown off from the way up there. And I can't take it from this side. So yeah, basically I'm gonna have Dawn of Sorrow, Dissonance, and Order of Ecclesia to round up. That's gonna be like the bonus game. Get over here because I know you're waiting for me. Have a rock. <laughs> and I cannot make it from this way. So I need to go higher, higher. What's with these ladders and not letting me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Here we go again. Let's go. Up the stairs. Yeah, I came from there. And here we have another one. Yep. <laughs> Has a shit ton of rocks in his pocket. That is absolutely true. Those rocks hit pretty hard. Oh my god. Have 
you a rock. Oh, I can't give you a rock. I don't have any enough power. There you go. Damn! Ow. Shit, I only have one potion left. Rotten meat. I ain't gonna eat the rotten meat. I'm so sorry. Rapier. Alright. Unless I have something better than this short sword. But I'm all the way up to 28. Sword made for stabbing. <laughs> ah, man, yeah. Gotta train hard. Gotta train hard, dude. Don't let up. You're very dedicated. And that's it. I have nowhere else to go. I already explored this, so I gotta go down now. Wait a second. Yeah, there's no room here. Oh, you backstabbing son of a... Yes, it is. time after what almost a uh, little bit more than an hour in which is not bad okay so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna give since it's already round one I'm gonna start up start up from there and try to fight that boss if I don't beat it now I will leave the stream right there the rock is pretty good but it takes too much go back to I wonder if the grenades are any good on this one let's try the grenades I don't have any of the others so we hit 
pretty hard. What? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, the doors are locked. Oh, you fuck now. You are so fucked. Up. Use a potion. Magic power is going to be up, but defense is going to be down by one. I think I can, I can, I can deal with that. That sounds like a very good exchange. Monkeys, anyway. They're not monkeys, they're like little Igors. Oh, 
save the damn sword. That means I need to get out of here really fast. And try to make it into one piece. And I am out, 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 out. Oh my god, this is it. This is it, guys. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Almost there. No! Holy shit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Wait. Calm down. You're almost there. Come on, I'm 
Almost there. No! Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. Come on, save. Alright guys, this is gonna be it. I'm done. This is going to be it. At least I saved it up to that point so I can keep playing it later on, which I know I will because I already started it, so. Now, before you guys go, or before I go, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys what I've been up to. This is completely unrelated to uh, Castlevania, as you can tell by the nice music on my hyper pie. I mean, I had to customize it to to my liking, so yeah, I'm not gonna have that crazy. Of course, I can't play that on YouTube. It's gonna get copyrighted to to hell. But... There's a lot here that I haven't showed you guys, but that's not the point. The point is, I got here, you see all of these icons over here is different front ends that I've been testing out. Uh, of course, the one that you saw right now, or you saw in the beginning of the stream was the CoinOps Arcadia 3. Now, check this one out. I'm going to release a video to, uh, today that showcases these but they are amazing fun they are derived from the Arcadia 3 and just to give you guys just a look at the one the Mario Collection one is from one of the guys over at the CoinOps Discord I'm hoping that it shows up if it doesn't I'm screwed there you go so this is another front end. But this one has a collection of all the games that Mario has ever appeared. They're here. All with their emulators, everything that you need to play the game. If it's a Mario game, it's here. to the very beginning so yeah I want to show you that uh, give you a little preview there the video is gonna be up very soon I appreciate you guys for being here thanks a lot Rafi Gabo Paul Aaron uh, thanks for dropping by I'll see you guys later I really need a break I need to eat something and go get some medicine cuz I'm not there <laughs> so take care guys see you guys next week on the next stream hopefully uh, take care and thanks for watching